been interesting to pivot uh, to a virtual environment from what we would normally be doing as part of the Future of Physics Days events, but we've got some great events lined up. We're doing a March Job Expo uh, where we have employers coming. It's virtual. We also have some great uh, workshops with Peter Fisk, uh, who's a great career coach, and he always does an excellent presentation. There's also an indus industry days where there's some career panel discussions and things like that. Every year at the March meeting, we have undergraduate only research sessions to provide a supportive um, environment for them. And we're doing that again virtually this year. And we have trained mentors coming in who will be providing feedback for the undergraduate students on their research talks um, just to give them that support. Also for all students, usually we have a student reception. This year it's called Physics Crossing, and um, we will have virtual tours of companies and national labs that students can go check out. Also in Gather Town, we're using this platform a lot this year, we have a graduate school fair. We have done so much, I think, in this past year. Again, it's been an interesting pivot. The first thing we did last summer was launch a summer webinar series, all focused on how to keep grad students, undergraduates, and early career scientists moving forward. We also launched a success in an industry careers webinar series that started in October that is a deep dive into the skills and knowledge that you need to really be successful in private sector environments. We've also got our new career guide that we did in, in connection with IOP. The digital edition is free to anybody who wants to read it. I think it's part of APS's core values to um, encourage participation from everyone, encourage retention um, of all groups. And so one of the opportunities we've had to do that was through these virtual webinars. We had a lot of international student participation. We're actually hoping to launch a series, uh, a webinar series for international students specifically and for um, international students within the US and um, just students in other parts of the world um, this summer.